Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I'd like to uh, request uh, a statement um, addressing the financial uh, crisis facing our public universities. Uh, under Standing Order Number 44-2C. Honorable Speaker, pursuant to the provisions of Standing Order 44, bracket 2, bracket C, I wish to request for a statement from the Chairperson of the Department to the Committee on Education and Research on a matter of general concern, namely addressing the financial stress facing public universities in Kenya. Honorable Speaker, our higher education sector is currently grappling with serious financial challenges. In the recent past, public universities have been struggling to survive as they are unable to honor statutory obligations including remittances to KRA, NHIF, IF, NSSF, and payment of wages and debts due to banks, contractors, and suppliers. As at June 2022, the combined debt borne by these institutions was 56.1 billion shillings, and this figure keeps accumulating at an alarming rate. Honorable Speaker, public universities heavily rely on government funding of state-sponsored student cooperation. However, in the recent past, there has been a continued decline in the government funding. This decline has been worsened by the low intake of self-sponsored students under the parallel program, as more students embrace technical courses often not available at our public universities. Honorable Speaker, the current government funding criteria for state-sponsored students is the Differentiated Unity Cost, DUC, whereby the government is expected to shoulder 80% of the tuition fee cost per student and the rest is covered by the student. It is notable that the current flat rate fee structure paid by students has been in place since the 1980s. Therefore, public universities depend on the exchequer for survival. Honorable Speaker, owing to the acute financial crisis, the University of Nairobi was recently forced to raise tuition and accommodation fees in a bid to stay afloat. Egerton University has experienced a shutdown of its main campus after industrial action by its lectures and staff over unpaid salaries. Other universities have been forced to close various campuses in uh, restructure efforts. Honorable Speaker, there have been pronouncements from the executive pointing towards a, a blanket withdrawal of funding to public universities with calls for them to look to other sources of revenue. The overall impact of such an action would jeopardize the existence of these institutions and paralyze the higher education system, denying many students, particularly from those from poor backgrounds, a much needed opportunity. It is on this account that I seek a statement from the chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Education and Research on what steps is the government taking to financially evaluate and audit all public universities to ascertain the extent of their debt burden. Two, what structure measures, what restructure measures is the government pursuing to prevent further accumulation of arrears by public universities and to redeem them to solvents by ensuring that there is adequate funding availability? Three, how does the government intend to involve all stakeholders concerned in implementing a turnaround measure for public universities to ensure their sustainability? And four, what plans does the government have to improve tertiary education system and make our public universities more effective and more competitive? I thank you, Madam Speaker.